Dear students, today we study about the chemical coordination and integration. The chemical control and coordination takes place by hormones. And these hormones are secreted by glands. And these glands are known as endocrine glands. So first of all we should know what are the endocrine glands. Endocrine glands are the ductless gland which secrete hormones. And these hormones are released into the blood and the blood carries these hormones to their targets. So endocrine glands are ductless and in contrast to it the exocrine glands are the ductless gland and they send their secretory material to the target through ducts. Now we should know what is the hormone. The classical definition of hormone is the hormone is a chemical secreted by an endocrine gland and released into the blood and transported to a distant located target organs. The current definitions of hormone says that hormones are non-nutrient chemicals that act as intercellular messengers and are produced in minute amounts or quantities. On the basis of their chemical nature, hormones are of the following types. Number one, the peptide hormone and the proteinous hormones like insulin, glucagon, pituitary hormones and hypothalamic hormones are in are in proteinous nature or peptides. Some hormones are steroid like the cortisol, testosterone, progesterone and estrogen. Some hormones are derivative of amino acids like epinephrine and norepinephrine and some hormones are iodothyronine like the thyroid hormones. Now we study the human endocrine system. The human endocrine system consists of the various endocrine glands like hypothalamus, pituitary, thyroid gland, parathyroid gland, thymus, adrenal gland, pancreas and ovary and testis. These are some gland which act as endocrine gland in human. Now we study one by one. First of all the hypothalamus. Hypothalamus is the basal part of the forebrain which contain several groups of nucleosecretory cells which secrete hormones and these hormones regulate the synthesis and secretion of pituitary hormones. The hormones of the thalamus, hypothalamus is of two types, the releasing hormone and the inhibiting hormone. Some hormones stimulate 
the secretion and release of pituitary hormones these are known as releasing hormones whereas some hormones inhibit the secretion of hormones of the pituitary gland are known as inhibiting hormone like somatostatin inhibits the secretion of growth hormone the second gland is the pituitary gland and pituitary gland is a very small gland present at the base of hypothalamus and it is attached with the hypothalamus with the help of infundibulum a stalk like structure pituitary gland is anatomically divided into two parts the anterior adenohypophysis and the posterior neurohypophysis and a small part is present in between two known as pars intermedia the anterior pituitary gland or the adenohypophysis release six hormones like the growth hormone growth hormone is also known as somatotropin and this hormone regulate the growth of the human if this hormone release in excess amount then the child becomes very large very long and this condition is called as gigantism and if the growth hormone is secreted in low amount then it will result the stunted growth and leads to gigantism and if this hormone becomes in excess in adult then this condition is known as acromegaly the another hormone released from anterior lobe is thyroid stimulating hormone tsh it is also known as thyrotropin and this hormone stimulate the secretion of thyroxine from thyroid glands adrenocorticotropic hormones the acth acth adrenocorticotropic hormone it is also known as adrenocorticotropin and this hormone stimulate the adrenal cortex of the adrenal gland to secrete the corticoids the gonadotropin gonadotropin is a two type like fsh and lh fsh follicular stimulating hormone and this hormone stimulate the growth and development of ovarian follicles and secretion of estrogen by follicle cells in human females and in males along with androgen it regulate spermatogenesis lh or luteinizing hormone in males it is stimulate the synthesis and secretion of testosterone by interstitial cells of leading cells of the testes hence it is also known as interstitial cell stimulating hormone in males in female 
it induces ovulation and formation of corpus luteum the prolactin next hormone secreted from anterior lobe is prolactin it regulates the growth of mammary glands and formation of milk in them the middle part known as pars intermedia also secrete a hormone known as msh melanocyte stimulating hormone which regulate the synthesis and distribution of melanin pigment by melanocyte cells the posterior lobe of pituitary gland the neurohypophysis secrete two hormones the oxytocin and vasopressin oxytocin it stimulate the vigorous contraction of the smooth muscles of the uterus at the time of birth control at the time of childbirth so it is also known as birth hormone and it also stimulate the milk ejection from the mammary gland so it is also known as milk ejaculating hormone and the vasopressin it acts mainly on the kidney and stimulate the reabsorption of water and minerals from the dct and collecting duct and prevents excess loss of water hence it is also known as anti diuretic hormone the, it has also a role in regulation of blood pressure thank you